For today's video, we're gonna get some gameplay with the new home base hero, Major Oswald. Uh, Major? Why are you stabbing your arm? Hey, I'd rather kill myself. The hell's wrong with you, Major? You can either get them as a reward from the Valor quest line, which is going to be available on February the 27th. You can also get them by recruiting him from the collection book, but it's going to cost you one hero recruitment voucher. So that's how you get them. And this is what he looks like before you upgrade him. He's wearing his belt wrong. That's not how you wear a belt, Major. All right, so we just maxed him out and we didn't get any accessories. So he's going to look the same when you first get him and when you max him out. When it comes to his abilities, he has War Cry, Frag Grenade, and Going Commando. And for a standard perk, he has Command Presence. And that makes your War Cry snare enemies within its range by 30% for its duration. And his Commander perk does the same thing, but it also increases your damage by 25% against affected enemies. And for our loadout, we're going to use the Happy Holidays team perk. And for our support team, we have Steel Wool Carlos, Special Forces Ramirez, Ghoul Trooper Ramirez, Colonel Wildcat, and Centurion Hall. And the mission we're going to do is this power level 140 repair the shelter and red's going to be helping us out and the reason we chose to do this one is because i also wanted to test it against the mini boss uh -huh. oh there's something he says i guess before we get into the gameplay let's go ahead and see what he sounds like that's a no no way soldier stay sharp there's a big fella need some help enemy spotted I see a smasher. Airborne bogeys inbound. Medic! Smasher! Don't let it grab you! Bring it on, smasher! They're coming from the sky! Let's make it happen! Get ready for a big one! Oh, wow. Negatory! Wait, what did you just say? <clears throat> Vitals getting low! So those are a few of the things he says. It sounds like he has the same voices in the quest lines and stuff. Like he's the same voice actor. I also want to take a look at his abilities. And the first one we're going to take a look at is his war cry. And I guess the first thing I should point out is that you're going to see the increased damage symbol above their heads. And the reason you see that, because once they become snared, the major's war cry will increase damage against them even more. And as you can tell, they're moving really slow. As a matter of fact, they're moving 30% slower than they normally do. So with our current loadout, it has a cooldown of 45 seconds. And normally it lasts for 15 seconds with our current loadout, but we can make it last even more if we were to get kills with it, since we have Steel War Carlos in our loadout as well. But if you don't get any kills, it's gonna last for 15 seconds. So now I wanna see how long we can make it last if we do get kills. So let's go ahead and try, here we go. And one thing I just thought of is that since his war cry snares targets you may want to use weapons that deal extra damage against snare targets so that may be something you want to consider when you're using major oswald oh and now it went away okay so we were able to make it last for about 21 seconds so it lasted for about eight seconds longer i also want to see if it applies to miss monsters so let's go ahead and try it out on the smasher and it looks like it does slow him down, as well as increase the damage you deal against him. So apparently his war cry will work on the blaster as well. His little triangle was behind his back, I couldn't see it. And it also applies to tankers. So it does work with mist monsters, but I think you're going to want to mainly use it when you're surrounded by large groups of husks. Because like with this encampment, for example, uh, as you can see, they're all moving at their normal speed. But once we use our war cry, it slows them all down and it makes it a lot easier to kill them. So that might be where it's most useful. Uh, when it comes to his other abilities, he also has the minigun. And one thing I like to do is to use the war cry before you use the minigun. And with our current loadout, it has a one minute cooldown and it lasts for 10 seconds. And he also has three frag grenades and each of those use 30 energy and have a 15 second cooldown with our current loadout. Look at look at this red. Look at this. <laughs> Do it again. The hell is that? I don't know. That's a no. It's not how you use your silverware, major. It's not proper uh, etiquette. I wonder what happened to his hand. Maybe we'll find out in the story. Everybody in the comments, let me know what y'all think happened to Major's hand. 
You want to see how far the radius is? Uh, yeah, we could try. Oh, they yeah. woke up. I'm gonna try it. Oh, damn! Look how far that is. That's far, dude. That's one, two, three, four, five. It's at least like six to seven tiles, and that's with Centurion Hawk in my support team. Uh, if you don't have Centurion, it's gonna be like three, uh, maybe half of that, like three or four tiles. All right, let's go ahead and start it. Look for these modules. So when it comes to major. I would definitely recommend getting him. In my opinion, I would consider him to be the best war cry hero in Save the World. And the reason I say that is because if you use Special Forces Banshee as your commander, you'll get 25.5%, which is obviously more than Major's 25%. But having Major in your support team doesn't add any damage while putting Special Forces in your support team does give you 8.5% extra damage. So I think overall, if you have Major as your commander and put Special Forces in your support team, it's going to allow you to deal more damage with your Warcry compared to having Special Forces as your commander and putting Major in your support team. And that's why I would recommend getting them. Now, if you don't have a lot of hero recruitment vouchers, uh, you can go ahead and just wait till the 27th and complete the Valor quest line. But if you do have a lot of hero vouchers, or if you don't think you're going to have time to complete the quest line, then you may want to go ahead and get them from the collection book. Here they come! All right, so they're coming from the south and the east. And we don't really have that many traps over here in this location, so we're going to try to take most of them out using our abilities. But we may also use this double boiler that Red gave us. Oh, we got smashers. Let's go ahead and use our first one. Oh, and look, we already slowed the Smasher down. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and take this guy out first. Oh, I hear another Smasher. So, we do have a couple of Defenders out. Like I said, we didn't really use that many traps, though. Oh, another Smasher. Okay. We got a lot of Smashers coming in. Hopefully, I can get another War Cry here. I'll give you one if you want one. I'll, I'll just wait for mine. It's all right. all right. I also want to use it on the mini boss. I think he's going to spawn at the last minute, though. Oh, man. They, they broke through the red. Oh, man. What? And we got nature on this. We probably shouldn't have built with uh, metal. That's all right, though. We didn't we didn't know. So, wait. Is the other one dead? Oh, okay. I think we're good now. We're good. All right. Let's go ahead and use another war cry. Did you just one shot that thing? I think so. <laughs> Get ready for a big one. All right, now she's our minigun. Get rid of right, this guy. Uh, oh no! Yeah, uh, don't kill him yet. Don't kill him yet. I, I didn't. Oh I'm man, gonna... it was. I thought he came out at like the last minute. Maybe that's evacuate the shelter. I'm thinking of. All right, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and wait till uh, we get our. It's in 12 seconds, so we don't have to wait too long. All right. I think one of our defenders is down. So he's nature, acid pool, shield breaker, berserker. We got three seconds on it. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use it. Let's put a slow field on him. Matter of fact, let's not use it yet. I just want to see. Oh, you got a marked red? Nope, I don't have marked. Is that me who has a marked? Okay, maybe, yep, yeah. that was me. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and use it and see if it works. Here we go. Oh, it does work. It does work on the mini boss. Okay, beautiful. And we got a defender down. We're gonna have to pick him up. So it will slow down and increase your damage against mini bosses. It'll increase your damage against everything. So that's good. Damn, we gotta up with the smashers, yo. It's kind of good because we don't really get a whole lot spawning in on repair the shelter, so at least we get to like try it out. Thank you. We didn't see nothing. But yeah, when it comes to Major, make sure you all get him uh, when he becomes available on the 27th. And if you don't feel like waiting, you can go ahead and recruit him from the collection book. I'm gonna go ahead and use another war crash since they're both here. I wanted to wait till my minigun came out because that's how I like using it. Oh. Like I a gotcha. yeah, one-two punch combo. 
So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and wait for my minigun to come back, then I'll use it. But yeah, that'll do it for our first major gameplay. For those of you who have uh, tried them, let us know what you all think about them. Like I said, in my opinion, I think he's probably the best Warcry hero in Save the World. Probably gonna be useful for dungeons, uh, maybe hit the road. I'm trying to think what else he could be really good for. Obviously, this Venture Zone, he's gonna be really good for because of the modifiers. And again, when it comes to weapons, make sure you use one that deals extra damage to snare targets. I think that's going to be the best perk to use with Major. Alright, so we got a level 4 loot chest with some Survivor XP gold and Schematic XP. We also got some Reperk, Lightning in a Bottle, and Lunar Tickets. We also got some more gold, as well as some Reperk and Epic Perk up. Anyways, that'll do it for this one. Big shout out to Red for helping us out. Hope y'all found the video useful, and thanks for watching.